and gentlemen, once upon a time, hybrid cars were small, new, and fuel efficient. Not any longer. Today, they're fast and luxurious, and we've got two cars to prove it. Over there, that's the Infiniti M Hybrid, brand new for 2013. And here, we have the... Hi, Nathan. Hello. We have the Lexus 450H Hybrid. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. No, Nathan, this is more of a matchup than a mashup. I think these cars really do compete. God forbid we're actually doing a proper comparison. Mine has a 3.5 liter V6. Mine has a 3.5 liter V6. Rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive. Hybrid powertrain. This is a hybrid. All right, here are the more interesting questions though. Fuel economy, my man, combined. Mine kicks ass with 29 miles per gallon. <laughs> 31. Point Lexus. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is yours weigh? Uh, 4129. Damn, 4147. Point Infinity. I can't believe yours weighs more. All right, horsepower. <laughs> Combined with the electric motor, 360 horsepower. Three, three, eight. Ah! All right, yeah. price as tested. Uh, $66,245. Darn, man, 69754 But you know what, let's cut right to the chase. We've been driving these cars now for a while, so we have a good sense for them. Yeah. On the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, even though the numbers don't say it, I'm gonna give that one a buy it. You know what? I have to give that one a buy it and this one a lease it. You know, you may have it on paper, but there's one way to find out. Oh yeah, let's do zero to 60. Because these, after all, are supposed to be performance-oriented hybrids. Okay guys, we've reviewed the non-hybrid versions of Nathan's car, and we reviewed the hybrid version of this, so this is not a full review, this is really just a performance test. And in that regard, Nathan has less weight, more power, but I can turn my air conditioning off, and I can put the car in double secret sport mode. Here we go, zero to 60, let's see how it does. Electric motor is making up for the fact that we are at a mile above sea level, and there is 60. What do you think? Did I break seven seconds? No, I did not. 7.36, 7.36, which, you know what? That's not bad for a car that weighs over 4,000 pounds. Yo, Nathan, I think people are wondering why we picked the Lexus over the Infiniti. Well, I can tell you simply why I chose it, and that is, as good as this car is, the Lexus is more masculine it feels more buttoned down it has a heft to it and it's got some good cojones all right let me translate that the lexus actually drives better you can modulate the brakes better yep. you can control the power better and it feels a bit more buttoned down going around a corner absolutely this thing is really really quick but in terms of a car that i'd want to drive every day i have to give it to the lexus i know it's not fair to judge a car entirely based on its looks interior overall feel <laughs> yeah actually it is fair look this is a wonderful car I know that power plant is a monster I have felt it and I'm looking forward to seeing the times because I think this car is going to be not only faster than Romans but I think it's going to be one of the fastest in class <sighs> you guys ready I'm ready Let's see what this thing can do right now different with the oh my god I'm already there <laughs> yeah that's pretty good that's that's yeah wait till you find out how good it is all right Nathan that is lighter it's got more horsepower you should kick my ass so yeah did you go faster than nine seconds yes eight seconds yes seven seconds yes six seconds no oh it's gonna be close all right what was your time 6.24 
6.24. This thing's a rocket. 6.14. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> 7.36. So <laughs> <sighs> okay, that's a lot slower. But I would still take the Lexus over this really fast, great, feminine car. I'm with Nathan. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. See you next time in the fast lane car. I can't believe you messed with me like that. <laughs>